so uh, let's start with Brandon. Um, what <clears throat> are, were you familiar with Hellraiser before you got this role? Yeah, I probably watched the original Hellraiser when I was about nine years old. And uh, <laughs> of course, insanely confused and disturbed. Um, but all in all, the, the full circle journey to being a part of the, the sort of reintroduction to it in the modern age, um, there's a lot more clarity and a lot more like um, respect for what Clive Barker did and, and the visions that have come through through the last 10 movies and now with David Bruckner's version. And Adessa, what about you? Were you familiar with Hellraiser before you got this role? Yeah, I was always familiar with it. It wasn't something that I watched when I was young younger just because uh, my units never showed me but um I probably watched it like around like 14 or 15 for the first time and um it's like the effects are just like you don't see that in a lot of like OG horror movies like that so yeah, I, I love Hellraiser. That's that's when I probably first saw it. That's what I love about ours is we did all pretty practical, just like the original. Was the attempt to create the um, the physical effects to an ode to the original? I think I think so for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think David definitely wanted it to be like. Yeah, yeah, just paying it, paying it forward to the original like that. Like it was all practical. Just the same way as as you know, in the first Hellraiser movie, when Frank is is um reforming, in, in real life it was just him melting. And we and then they reversed the picture. So we did the same thing with a lot of like blood being uh sucked into the box. That was actually uh letting blood pour out of the box and then reversing the image as well so that oh. i thought was cool. yeah cool um did you get to play with the lament configuration boxes oh yeah yeah the was boxes were the box. all practical as well um, was yeah. that was that like kind of crazy especially for you brandon since you saw it when you were such a little kid was that like kind of awe-inspiring yeah it was pretty interesting it's especially because I think this movie like the box is such a, like an important um thing and character that we that we actually track um I feel like this movie we understand the box more than we ever have in, in the Hellraiser landscape mm -hmm. um yes. and and David was incredibly specific with how the box would work with understanding each 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 um change configuration, what, configuration. Yeah. that's exactly. the better word yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> um so it was it was pretty pretty cool and what about you Odessa did you get to play with the uh boxes at all I played with like um every configuration and which was also like Brandon said it was also practical so every time I'm I'm you I would turn it and then you'd have to take the you know when the, the knife comes out then you'd put the knife in and then and then cut back to it and we do like like switches like switch off the boxes and they're also like falling apart in your hands as you're like playing with them you have to like pretend that it's like really like hard to move sometimes but <laughs> it was really fun to play with them and like amazing that they they really went into detail on these boxes I, I think this one this movie you can you can see that more than um others before not discrediting them just saying that like I think that people are really gonna love that you could see the details of it even more and it focuses on like what the puzzle box can do um right as, as well as the Cenobites right I was going to ask, um, can you talk about working with the Cenobites? Were they, um, in real life, were they as fearsome as they appeared on screen? I mean, not personality. I'm sure the actors were lovely, but. <laughs> I mean, Jason, um, I just wanted to hug him the whole time. I felt bad that he was in that. <laughs> he was like, like, uh, 
screwed in to his suit. Like it took a full five minutes every time he wanted to get out and take a breather. But I was definitely freaked out by some of them. But for most of it, it was just like, it was fun to do it all together. Yeah, I think it all like made the fantasy that much more like interesting and fun to play. And like these, they they looked just like they look in the movie on set, you know, which was on one hand, like very funny to like, just, you know, get to like your set, which I think the first time I met Jamie was like a playground and she was like in the holding room with, with a cup of coffee as the priestess. And um, it was like, what the hell am I looking at? Um, but also once the camera started rolling, it was just this understanding of like, this is what the audience is going to get. And that's so cool. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, it was a really fun movie. So thanks. Have a great day.